Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, I should say that we did this presentation together, together with my great friend and colleague, Alexei Sidorenko. And we're going to talk about crowdsourcing and mutual aid. The main purpose of this presentation is actually to argue that crisis management and crowdsourcing can be a tool for coordination of mutual aid, crowd-to-crowd -crowd based response, especially in case when the traditional institutes fail to provide this response uh, in emergency situations. In 19th century, Russian philosopher and biologist Petr Kropotkin wrote the book, Mutual Aid, A Factor of Evolution, where he claimed that actually uh, uh, it's natural for animals and human beings to help each other, and it's a factor of survival. But the problem is that we don't have enough tools for mutual aid. That's what Eleanor Ostrom claimed. So we used Ushaidi as the instrument of mutual aid during Russian wildfires last year, and it was great because people were able to provide crowd-to-crowd-based response in case of Russian uh, wildfires, uh, which was very significant, and uh, thousands of people used the Help Map platform. So how we did it? First of all, uh, the platform it brings transparency around this situation because traditional media were not able to cover the full degree of the disaster. Second, it helped to hold government accountable because uh, once you have information, it's easier. But when the government was not following it, so people used this platform to coordinate and to fulfill uh, the functions of government. So as you can see, the uh, project was pretty successful, received Russian Internet Award. We was also invited to meet with President Medvedev and had very interesting conversation with him. But that's not really important. The important thing is that indeed Ushe it is an amazing tool, but there are some challenges in using it for mutual aid. Uh, so we uh, identified these uh, challenges, uh, non-emergency situations, uh, multiple issues, information matching, personalization, credibility and trust. And so we decided to create a kind of new tool that used only for mutual aid. So this is our new tool. It's called Rinda. You can see two buttons. We need help and we would like to help. And three columns, a request for help. Uh, we offer help and help was provided and the search. And why we call it Rinda? Rinda is a special bell that was used by Russians to call for help. Help. It comes from Russian uh, sailors who uh, used the word ring the bell and transfer it to Rinda. And actually, during Russian wildfires, uh, one of the bloggers uh, requested from Putin to bring his Rinda back because other tools were not so successful. So first, st strategic goal of the platform is uh, increasing motivation of crowd to crowd to assist to each other. And we do it through reframing the crisis, personalization, trust, simplification, and uh, providing feedback to help that was provided. And also the second goal is improving efficiency in timely response provision, matchmaking between those who need help and those who want to help, uh, mobile application, activation of users in very timely uh, response, and multiple map architecture. So first of all, to expand uh, 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 the definition of crisis to uh, engage more people in response. We uh, address not only national disasters, but also common disasters, like uh, people who got lost in Russian forest, children especially, and common disasters. It might be neighbor who uh, broke his arm uh, in your neighborhood. And we have a pr personal profiles that increase uh, the trust and increase the identity of people on the platform. But the major issue about personal profiles is that it makes possible to define the range of help that person can provide. So first of all, it's how to help. Second person can uh, write uh, where he can help and uh, what kind of help he's ready to provide. So he defines the range of help he's, uh, that he's able to provide. And also, uh, people tend to help in their backyard, but we expand the definition of backyard where people can help. The second thing is matching between those who want to help and those who need help. Once someone is post request for help, People who uh, define the range of help in a relevant way will uh, get immediate notification in an automatic way. We also create a multiple uh, map structure. Different uh, uh, crises are addressed, but all these different crises, if it's about wildfires, it's about Russian winter, it's about uh, uh, children who lost, they have a specific categories, but all these crises together are at the uh, major map and person can see where can he can help in his area in different crises. We're also working on a uh, mobile uh, application where you can see who is need help around you in 100 meters around you, for instance. And definitely, in addition to application, uh, we have additional features as a social network that makes the community to more sustainable and feedback mechanism that increase participation because people see that actually platform makes able to uh, help to someone. And uh, about the platform, some additional technical information. Uh, first of all, we definitely have API that make possible to engage additional people. We also can embed data from other platforms and create additional uh, uh, maps within platform from other maps. And uh, <coughs> we also use uh, Creative Commons, and we use uh, uh, we use uh, the 
uh, open source code that make possible to engage more people and we're definitely open to discuss how these platforms can uh, actually facilitate a crowd to crisis based response. And so we are glad to discuss it. So I would like to conclude that the dream of Kropotkin about mutual aid can be true, and we can see establishment of peer-to-peer -peer governments, crowd-to-crowd -crowd based response, but also this tool can be very helpful for coordination uh, of collaboration between citizens and government in crisis situation. Thank you very much.